Okay, we are about to uh, do our test, our particle effect test at the DCD headquarters. We are running a GZA 1.2.0.3C or B, whatever it is. So let's uh, get our let's get our test going. Looks like they're coming from the DCD complex. Whatever's happening over there. The first test is that flaming pile of bodies over there. Okay, test number one. Let's set ourselves on fire. And as you can see, nothing. We're perfectly fine. Active terminal detected. By the way, this computer, uh, we are running a MSI MAG X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. CPU is a 3600X. And the graphics card is a... ASRock Challenger 5700 non-XT. Why did he not catch on fire? Hmm. The guy should have caught on fire. Let me check my build real quick. The uh, drive is a uh, crucial, uh, I think a P1, one terabyte NVMe. That's a uh, Gen 3. Shut that down. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like the best way to take the lab offline is the decontamination protocol. That's just a fancy way of saying everything gets sterilized. Isaac's not detecting the gas needed for the decon process. They must have disabled the line. Hit the main fuel line in the basement. That should get it flowing again. So we've passed the first test, we set ourselves on fire, everything looks perfectly fine. Perfect. The decontamination protocol can be initiated from a panel in the lab above you. Stay Test number two. These little uh, vats of acid. Okay. Nothing. Ran perfect. And do one more just to test. Okay. Nothing at all. We're going to hit these pipes. Sometimes these pipes will release uh, like a gas. There we go. Look at, look at all that particle effects. And nothing. Every, we're dizzy, of course. We're disoriented, but they render perfectly. And, yeah. So we don't really need anything to take out robots. So let's, what are we going to do? Uh, let's do a, sh what do we want to do here? Do Firefly. Virus samples detected. Here we go. Right there. Oh no, <laughs> I killed myself, oh no, oh my goodness, that should not happen, that was sloppy.
That was sloppy. My bad. I apologize. We gotta go up it. At least we're over here, so it'll just take a minute or two to to get into the room. I should use riot foam, but the problem is I like the I like the fire starter for the chem launcher. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's hit the vat of acid again. Even though I'm sure it's going to be good. Yep. There's two uh, two things in particular that I like. Now these ones, they look cool, but they don't really they don't really cause a lot of didn't cause a lot of stutter. This one here. All right. These usually cause the little micro stutter. They're running perfectly fine. And here's the big kahuna, these nitrogen tanks. These usually cause a lot of... Look at that. Yeah, we're reeling all over, rendered perfectly. Look at that. So as you can see, uh, a Jiza 1.2.0.3 is running perfectly. And welcome to the wonderful world of Ajiza 1.2.0.5. This is our first up update, and let's see how this affects uh, gameplay and uh, system performance. I'm very curious. Looks like they're coming from the DCD complex. Whatever's happening over there, we need to shut it down. All right, here we go. Test number one. The fire. Okay, that's interesting. We're still uh, successfully uh, not having any lag or anything like that. Detected. See if you can hook Isaac into that terminal and get us some intel. Uh, just FYI, we've capped our frames at I think about 120, I think, and normally it was uh, hitting about 130 to 140. Ah, oh, shit! I Agent killed. God dang it! Ah, oh. that is so fucking annoying. I couldn't peek around that corner long enough to be able to shoot my stupid chemical launcher. Oh, that pisses me off. Open the fuel line. That should give the decon protocol enough gas okay, to let's, run. I want to torch these guys. That's what I want to do right there. Oh my goodness. They make it so hard. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, hitting that vats of acid, no problem. Right in the middle of the lab. Oh, come on, what the hell? Wrong button, wrong key. I'll just grab some of this loot as long as I'm up here. There we go. So we passed test number two with flying colors. We set ourselves on fire, no problem. We've uh, hit the acid, no problem. And let's see. Oh. Virus samples detected. now for the final test okay we hit the acid no problem everything's good we're gonna go to these little micro these small canisters here I think I blew up one of them all right no problem there everything looks good and time for the big canisters holy cow way of disoriented but no problem at all So, everything seems to be running perfectly fine with Ejiza 1.2.0.5. Wow, okay. Alt. R. Okay, I'm going to start recording here. You can keep yak. I'm going to start uh, start this video real quick. So, yeah, you can just, okay, let's see what happens. All right. Looks like they're coming from the DCD complex. Whatever's happening over there, we need to shut it down. And we are starting a new video. We are, uh, you're experiencing uh, a Jiza 1.2.0.6. Uh, that's the dog shit version. Uh, is it B or, hold on a sec, what was it? 1.2.0.6 C. That's the dog shit version. All right, fire fly out. Okay, test number one. We're going to walk into the fire, the burning pile of bodies. Oh my goodness, and we are setting ourselves on fire with no problem. That is interesting. Wow, look at that. Wow, this is interesting. Terminal detected. See if you can hook Isaac into that terminal and get us some intel. Crazy. Connection established. DCD data stream enabled. All right, let's see what we've got. There's an active lab on the north side close to you. Your first priority should be to shut that down. Stop right there. Quick 
Looks like the best way to take the lab offline is the decontamination protocol. This is really bizarre that it's running so good. I wonder if the problem is maybe it doesn't like the Ryzen 5000 architecture. Or anything like later, you know, maybe it's used to, maybe it just likes a lower. God, that's so weird. Okay, test number two, the vats of acid. Okay, we're exploding them and we are perfectly fine. Gotcha, yeah. Okay, the final test. We got the vat of acid. Okay. Perfectly fine. We got the two small canisters. Oh, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. And the nitrogen tanks. And perfectly fine. This is unreal. Well, we're with the shittiest BIOS and the Giza version, and it's running perfectly well. That is a surprise. Okay, here we go. Altar. Okay, and we are in the final test, the latest uh, BIOS version, and we are running a Giza 1.2.0.7. Uh, XMP is off for now, but I noticed there wasn't really much of a difference with XMP on or off. So we're going to check it out. Here we go. Looks like they're coming from the DCD complex. Whatever's happening over there, we need to shut it down. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, DCD headquarters, yep. 
DCD headquarters. Yeah, it's in the White House zone, left side. So it like right in the middle. Detected. See if you can hook Isaac into that terminal and get us some intel. Oh, there. Yeah. If it's invaded, you may want to knock out the invaded mission first. Well, because it's not a big deal, but you just won't have the pile of burning bodies there while the Black Tusk are managing it. But then once you clear that and then get to... In fact, I'll give you a hand with that here, Mr. Set. DCD data stream enabled. All right, let's see what we've got. There's an active lab on the north side close to you. Your first priority should be to shut that down. Piece of cake. Okay, I had to go walk in the fire real quick. Okay, we're going to walk in the fire with the latest Ajiza version. And, wow. No problems at all. No problems. That's shocking. Looks like the best way to take the lab offline is the So it looks like the Ryzen 3000 CPUs have absolutely no problem. But we might have problems running the Ryzen 5000 CPUs. That is it. But why? That's the rule. Anyways, one step at a time. Hey, how's it going there? Well, you know, we're back in for the night. The decontamination protocol can be initiated from a panel. Doing all right. I'm still working on this stupid particle effect problem. Making a lot of progress, though. It's seeming like Snowdrop Engine doesn't like modern CPUs. Is kind of what it's looking like. Very unusual. No problem there. Oh, stay put. Wow. So there we have it. There is no problem with the Giza version with the, at least with this configuration of the Ryzen uh, 39. And this is the 3600X.